Alright, welcome to my newest video where I'm going to be taking us through the use of iMovie to create a simple slideshow and for this particular slideshow I am going to be showing some of my current projects that I'm doing. So kind of a two-for-one video. You can learn how to make a simple slideshow using photos from your computer in iMovie and also I get to uh, share some of my more recent projects. So I'm going to go ahead first of all in iMovie and I'm going to click the plus button and I'm going to select a new movie. So I'm going to create this new movie with no theme. The themes are fine but they're kind of, I find them a little bit clumsy to work around and they seem very generic like a template. Um, so I like to go with no theme. So I'm go ahead and create, we're going to call this uh, artwork slideshow and click OK. So to start, uh, we're looking at our iMovie workspace here, and we're going to start by importing some media. So we're going to import media. Um, got already some stuff set up here on my desktop, so I'm going to navigate to Artwork for Slideshow. And I'm just going to go ahead and import everything that I have in this folder. We're going to go ahead and import these. And it looks like everything came in, even the stuff that is a PDF. So you're going to see these little wheels uh, start to appear. Um, and what this is, is it's showing you the process of these being imported. So iMovie is going to give you a preview of them so you can start working right away and you don't need to wait for that. But when it's processing something, you can see those little wheels here and you can also see it up here in the corner. Uh, iMovie is great. I mean, it's very simple, and um, you know, for for most of us that are doing some simple video editing, it's it's got quite enough in terms of uh, tools to work with. I'm going to just drop one of these in just to show you the basics. And what I want to do here is show the process of a drawing. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this Rick Grimes sketch into iMovie and you can see when you do that you click on it it selects it in yellow and then you can go ahead and drag it down into your timeline um, another thing I like about iMovie is the fact that by default it gives you the Ken Burns effect on these photos so you don't even have to do anything in order to get that that nice professional quality looking zoom um, you can adjust how long the particular image shows on screen. So here you can see I just grab this and pull it in. So it's up for a duration of about two and a half seconds. And I can extend that further out if I want to. I think that looks good for right now. You click on the image and then you can go up to the crop tool up here in the corner, upper right corner. And you can see that the Ken Burns effect again is by default. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to adjust how it's going to start and where it's going to finish. So you can see by making this box larger you're actually zooming in, you're backing the camera away not zooming in, you're zooming out. So you're backing the camera away and where you end if you make that box smaller it will kind of zoom in. So what we should see here is the beginning will show his face from a little bit further away and then as the seconds tick by in the video, it'll bring us in a little bit closer. So let's go ahead and, and test that out and see what it looks like. If I can just kind of go back here, if I hit play, you can see what that's doing. It's bringing it in. There's a little bit of a, of a jitter there, but that that should go away. That's just the it's just it processing. Okay, so you can see we go from there to there. Okay, um, if I want to get a little bit fancier, and I think what I'm going to do here is I, the idea is I want to fade from the drawing into the painting. So I want to kind of show the process of, you know, taking the drawing, the initial sketch into a finished painting. So I'm going to go ahead and take another Rick Grimes, Andrew Lincoln as Rick Grimes. Uh, so now I have the Ken Burns effect. And then it's going to do something called a jump cut. It's just going to quickly just 
pop into that next image, which is a little bit jarring, right? Well, you know, so what I want to do here is I want to back it away so that I can fit it to the page. So you can crop it to fill, which is going to fill the widescreen ratio, or you can fit it where it'll just pop it onto the screen like this so that you can see the entire thing. So now you're going to see what I'm talking about with this jump cut where it's like boom, it's like very, very kind of, you know, not, not cool, not very um, slick. So I'm going to go ahead and add a transition in between. So if you go over to your transitions tab, um, I heard somebody um, or watched a video about somebody using iMovie or doing some video editing and what they said is just ignore everything beyond the first three or four of these options which I think is really good advice because some of these things just get really tacky you know like spinning things on and spinning things out and it, it's just you know people start to not really pay attention to what's in the video the content they start to pay attention to all the cheesy little transitions that you put in there so you either want to cross dissolve cross blur fade to black or fade to white I'm gonna actually take the fade to black and I'm gonna put it in the beginning so what's gonna happen here is if you fade to black but it's in the beginning it actually fades into the image so you see instead of it just automatically starting with that image you can see it's gonna slowly transition in I'm also going to take this and we're going to go with a cross dissolve. So when I go between one or in between images from one to the next, I like to put a transition in between them. So now you can see that it's going to fade in to the photo, which is in the Ken Burns. Then it's going to cross dissolve into that still image. And then I'm going to add another cross dissolve. And I'm going to go back to my media and I'm gonna go back to Rick Grimes but this time I'm gonna drop a painting in here and I'm going to now choose fit so what's gonna happen here what should happen is it's gonna fade in to that we could talk about it. it's gonna fade over to the full version and then it's gonna fade over into the painting which is pretty cool and then if you wanted to um, put another version of the painting in there, we could kind of Ken Burns across some of the details if you wanted to talk specifically about that particular image. All right, so the other thing that you might want to do is you might want to add titles. So if we go to titles, you can add titles as the complete screen. So if I wanted to... Um, just grab one of these and and these there, there are some different things going on but again you want to you want to keep it simple you want to you know not try to get too crazy with these titles and be like oh watch how this flashes in and flashes out so let's just go ahead and put one of these in here and you drag the title you could actually pull it down and you can have the title appear as part of the image so it will you can see how it's it's on top of this now so if I double click it it allows me to start to type so I can put um, let's see we're gonna go in here select this and we can say we could say drawing and then we can say to painting I don't know drawing to painting and then let's check that out and see how it looks in here and you can see the title comes in trying to painting it shifts over and then it fades out okay so if you want some text like that if you wanted to do some more introductory text you could bring this in on the same line the same portion of the timeline and what that's going to do is allow you to add title text here all right so what's going to happen now is when the video begins you're going to see diligent visual current projects welcome fades out into the picture fades out into the full frame you see the text appear it transitions into a painting and so on and so forth so it's a lot of repeating the same things throughout and this is sort of a useful thing here too you can scrub that's what i'm doing here on the timeline you can kind of scrub to sort of see how things are flowing and watch it in forward reverse and so on. So I'm going to go back to my media um, and you can see that I'm going to add several different paintings and probably do some audio over them talking about 
the processes and you know kind of what I was thinking about or what projects I was working on. We're going to go ahead and um, add some audio now. So you, um, this is from a um, royalty-free music site. So you're going to want to do that, like uh, YouTube video or music background music for YouTube videos, royalty-free music, um, things like that, because you don't want to put all kinds of work into a project and then realize that you have like a copyright strike because you. You know, you put a, a popular song over the top of it. So what I did here is I, I got this piece here, which may or may not work for what I'm doing. Um, and then you drop it in as an audio track. And the audio track can be adjusted. You can adjust the volume just by pulling this up or pulling this down. You could also adjust how the music fades in or fades out. So this little button right there on the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and Zoom in a little bit closer there so you can see it. You drag this thing in a little bit and now your music will fade in instead of um, just coming in full blast right out the gate. So let's go ahead and take a look at this and see how the music lay plays out. So that's pretty cool. Um, and we got our audio in here and there's room to put another track in there. So what I'll usually do a lot of times is I will um, record the audio separately from the video and then line everything up and you can superimpose it and we could make the music a little bit softer so it goes into the background when the when the voiceover comes in. So you've got your media, which are just still photographs for this particular video, what I'm doing. You've got your audio, which we just talked about. You've got your titles, which is your text that you're going to add. And then you have your transitions, which are going to allow you to transition from one image to the next and make things seem really not super jumpy and more professional. So hope you enjoyed that. I'll uh, see you for the next one. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Like, there's like a little button that they put on the laptop or something, and then they say click it, and then you can never even miss a video. Hmm. That's if you subscribe. <laughs>